I'm really enthused about how the Q series has incorporated critical thinking. And one of the reasons that it's so important is that I think when we look back, say, the last couple of decades of English language materials, um, they haven't challenged students enough in this area of critical thinking. And I think one of the fallacies is that because a learner might be a level one student or a level two or a level three, that they lack the ability to do critical thinking. But of course, in their own languages, they're typically very good critical thinkers. And so um, this is one of the strengths of cues that we um, now give students opportunities to practice critical thinking across all the skills, which is, I think, again, one of the really positive features of the series. So students read material, um, write about it, speak about it, and listen um, to arguments and discussions. So for example, uh, book four, one of the themes is power and responsibility. Students um, complete two readings, and then they have writing assignments, vocabulary, and the reading writing book uh, around these themes of power and responsibility. And so they recognize different perspectives, different points of views. They have to pick a point of view and argue for that. And by doing that, they apply the different levels of Bloom's taxonomy, which is a six-level taxonomy developed in 1956. So it's been around for a long time, but still seems to be as useful and applicable to current thinking. And I think, as I mentioned previously, that so many, say, reading comprehension exercises in the past have only tapped into the first layer of Bloom's, which is um, comprehension. So students look for, you know, who said what, when did they say it, where was the person at the time, kind of displaying information. And what Q does is pushes students into deeper levels of Bloom's taxonomy. So they have to analyze an argument. They have to synthesize information in the form of a summary, say in a writing assignment. Ultimately, they have to evaluate. Here are two points of view. You've looked at the facts, the supporting both, both points of view. Uh, what do you believe? What, they have to write um, a problem solution essay, or they have to write an opinion essay. And that's how they demonstrate their, these deeper levels of synthesis, analysis, and evaluation.